Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Vance, and thank you for coming back to Shocker Plays. Today, we're going to be going over in Sims 4 how I made some wigs. So you can have different looks with different colors and different styles. And we're going to go through all the steps that you need to do this. And it's super easy. You only need two programs, Sims 4 Studio and Blender. And with that, you can have a variety of wigs just like this. And in the end, I'm going to go through a step by step of how I went from this look to this wannabe Britney Spears baby one more time look to celebrate the new high school years back. Hit me baby one more time. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. So I found this amazing um, wig tutorial, how to create, how to change your hair into a wig from Lily Sims. I decided to um, make a video of this to make it easier for people. You know, I actually, how I started was I followed along with this. So definitely you're gonna hit the link in the description, read through it, it's all there. If you wanna read something instead of watching a video, it's really the same thing. So go through this and yes, yeah, this is how I learned how to do it. And I just started doing it for like all the hairs that I wanted. So thank you, Lily Sims for putting this up. Uh, it's much appreciated. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're gonna need Sims 4 Studio and you're also gonna need a blender. Both these links will be in the description below. I am using Blender 2.79B. You can just go here and this is the one that I have downloaded. So this is, you're gonna, when you come here, you're gonna click here. Uh, if you're not, if you haven't used Sims 4 Studio, I would definitely recommend reading through this. It's got so much useful information about You're gonna come here, you're gonna click on installer. And at some point it may tell you that a computer or Windows doesn't trust um, it, but this is totally trusted. Like, um, just go through with it, you'll be fine. Just make sure you get it from the link that I'm gonna provide here, which will take you here and click where I showed you to click. So um, once you have those things downloaded, you will run your downloads, install them as they um, see fit. I already have them installed, so I'm not going to actually um, reinstall them again or click on them. I like to um, keep everything as organized as possible, so I would definitely um, recommend making some folders. So this one is uh, the Sims 4 Studio folder. Once you go into Sims 4 Studio, go into mods, I have a folder called Cos Wigs um, in my mods folder for Sims 4 Studio. Um, I keep a Blender file folder and a color folder. You'll see why when we get started, but it's just to make sure that I'm organized um, and not getting confused where things are or things are overlapping where their placements are. And then when I, and here I'm just in my mods folder inside of uh, the Sims 4 game. The next thing you wanna do is gonna go into Sims 4 Studio and you're gonna wanna make sure that in your settings, your blender path is wherever it goes. You don't have to, if it, I don't know, wherever you have your blender installed is where you're gonna wanna make sure that this says. So you're just gonna click here, browse and install it where, um, wherever your blender extension is at. Uh, so then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go into here, you're gonna go to cause and you're gonna say create 3D map. Uh, now again, so I can make everything um, nice and neat. I'm gonna um, click on base game because right now we're gonna be doing a base game hair. We're doing a female hair, an adult, and again, we're going into hair. So let's see, which one are we gonna wanna do? Uh, this one here, yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so because I'm gonna want every color, uh, you could choose whatever color you want. I'm gonna put every one of them um, just because of the setup that I'm using, just kind of what I want. I also don't wanna want a color at some point and be like, damn, I wish I had such and such color. I should have did it when I had the chance. So we're gonna skip all that, like shoulda, coulda, woulda, and do it now. 
I'm just gonna hit X for now, just to, and I'm gonna put it here right in this folder here, not in any of these two, but right where they are. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I like to come into here just to make sure that I don't uh, fuck anything up and to keep it all nice and neat into what it's called. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna grab this, we're gonna hit copy. Go back here, you're gonna go into meshes, and you're gonna export your mesh. I'm gonna go into here because it's where I keep here. I'm gonna paste that name. We're gonna save it. From here, um, also I like to keep it on top. That way, whatever I do last is on top. I don't have to go searching for it. I already know exactly where it's at. I'm gonna double click it. It's gonna open. We're gonna come over here. So now you're gonna see um, over here, we're gonna look at the different levels of this hair. So you're gonna see this one is the top one. This is one that's gonna cover the whole thing and it's in the middle. We're gonna go to this one. We're gonna right click. We're gonna hit delete. You can choose to keep your bottom ones or not. Um, ones that are covered, it's up to you. I am gonna actually delete it on this one. Um, but it's really up to you whether you wanna keep that or not. Uh, yeah. So also we're gonna come here and we're gonna go here. We're gonna change this into a zero. That way it's all zeros there for the cut. And yeah, so that's gonna be that. We're gonna come here, we're gonna hit save as. Okay, we're gonna hit that, we're gonna hit save as a blender file. Now, it's gonna come up with these two. This is, I guess, in case you make a mistake, you can go back and do it over. But we're gonna keep it like that, it's fine. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to textures. We're gonna go to export texture and we're gonna hit number one because I'm going to keep them in order because I'm here. Hold on. Because there are 24 hairs, I'm going to actually uh, go in order. If you don't have these numbers enabled, all you have to do is right click over here and you'll see toggle switch numbers. Okay, so right click, toggle switch numbers. These numbers will appear and you'll be able to keep them in order. Again, we're going to hit export. I'm going to go one. I'm going to put this in the right folder that I want it, which is in color. Um, and we're going to hit one. All right. And that's going to be there. Now we're just going to go through all of them and kind of just do that again. Here we go. Two. We're going to keep that in that same pattern and just do this for all 24 of them. So let's speed this up a bit. Okay. So. Once you have that done, you can uh, cancel out of this. If you exit out up here, it'll actually just close out the whole Sims 4 Studio program. And you just cancel, it'll allow you to come back here. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come back here, make sure you're still on uh, Create 3D Mesh. You're gonna click back on cause. We're gonna change from hair to hat. Now you're gonna make sure if you end up um, taking a hair from one of the packs, um, you're gonna make sure you wanna switch back to base game for this because you're gonna need this one right here. And you're gonna come here and you're gonna hit next, right? I'm gonna go back into here because we have it um, named already right there. Perfect. So yeah, so we're just gonna do that right there. And then we're gonna come into mesh and we're gonna go to import. We're gonna go to our meshes and we're gonna take that one that we just worked on. I'm gonna bring that in, okay? Now we have that and it's looking perfect. And now if you have something where it's chopped off and um, it's like, it's showing like the bald head on top, then you're gonna wanna make sure you go back into Blender and remove the layer that comes over the uh, cut one and make sure that the one that shows the full hair is the top one that's selected um, and showing, just delete any one that's above it. Um, and yeah, and it should be fine and look like, make sure that it's saved properly and that the one that you're importing is the right one. And yeah, that should be fine. All right, so then we're gonna go into texture and what you wanna do is you're gonna go first here and just start deleting um, these ones, make blank, shadow, okay, make blank there. And the last one here, make blank. This one's already um, gonna be empty if there is anything there, I guess just make blank also. All right, now we're gonna come here. And actually what I'm gonna do before that is I'm gonna go into here and we're just gonna um, change some stuff around. Now, because I'm gonna want this for my men, also I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna add this in here. Um, we're gonna leave everything like that. We're gonna swap out that. We're gonna um, include here, 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 
here, here. Now for this, you can select whatever you want, um, whatever your alpha type is, whatever situation you want them under. I don't want them randomly popping up, so I'm gonna, I don't want like retail uniforms having them or like situations like if tourists come and then, you know, they have their tourist hat there, all of a sudden they're wearing like the wigs as like their hats. Like we don't need that happening. So I'm gonna just undo all that stuff um, and just select the looks that I want. Also, um, you know, before on the on a different version of Sims 4 Studio, uh, Spellcaster wasn't here. I used to always assume that Witch meant Spellcaster, but now that Spellcaster is here under a cult where it should be, what is this Witch? Does this mean Witch of the Forest? Um, is that what this is? Because, I mean, I'm cool if she uh, starts wearing wigs, you know? Maybe, we'll see. Let me know in the comments down below which witch this is. Like, let me know, which witch is this? Which witch? That's almost like a little tongue twister. Which witch? Which witch is this? All right, let's just continue on. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is definitely make sure that allow for random is not selected because you, you don't want people randomly wearing these wigs as hats. All right, so everything else looks like it's set up the way that I want it. Again, you can go in and change all these things. Actually, I'm gonna take off color, uh, make sure that that's like that. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna go back into texture, make sure all this is done. Yep, we did that. And we're gonna add 24 of these swatches. Again, because I'm doing all of the textures, I'm gonna be doing all of this. So now we're gonna go in uh, one by one and we're gonna go import. We're gonna go back here and we're gonna go into color and we're gonna hit one, right? Now we're just gonna start importing over each of these with their appropriate number. And yeah, that's how we're just gonna do this all the way through. So let's speed this up. That's why it's good to have the numbers. I just got like confused at where I was at, so. I'm telling you, the number system, it works really well. Okay, so now that that's done, the next thing that I'm gonna do, and actually I'm just gonna recommend this to you. You should just like have a folder, um, not a folder, a document with, um, Because no, if you don't have Excel, you can use like Notepad or Word document or something. Um, and what I have done here is I've actually went through all of the um, original, the actual uh, swatches and actually took their color code um, and put them down here uh, again. And what I'll do here is I'll come in here. Um, I'm gonna hit Control C for copy. Uh, if you're on a Mac, I believe it's Command C. We're gonna come here and hit Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac. Okay, again, number two now. We're just gonna come here and again, we're just gonna go through and we're just gonna make sure that all of the color codes um, match up. That way we have this, the same look. Um, Yeah, that's it. So, see you in a bit. Basically, once you're done with that, <clears throat> depending on which order you did. Also, I like to, because I'm making these for drag queens in my game, um, I like to select male. That way I can see what a male uh, body would look like with this on. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wanna do that. But now that you got all your swatches in, your textures are all in, your message in place, um early, all your stuff here is selected the way that you want it to be just go ahead and hit save that's it you can close that out go into where your uh where you kept it at in your sims 4 studio mods folder or wherever you created it at um i'm just gonna do that i'm gonna drop it into my actual sims game into my and now that's it it's a part of the game all right so this is um my drag queen actually this is a sim that i got off the gallery named lola lavish i put nick in there because um yeah, he's a drag queen so by day he's nick and by night he's a lola lavish all right 
So let's go and take a look here. Um, this is hair. So we have, you know, we have our, here we are. He's, he's just chilling. First of all, how cute is this? Like, I love this. This is like one of my favorite pieces. Okay. So yeah, he's got, he's got day looks for every day, for every look. Then we come up here and then we have these other looks here. Okay, we've got everything set up. Like now she's ready to party. Okay, so let's go and attach some. Let's see, what kind of, we're, let's get some looks in here. We go with the cats. This is where we made them. We made them a hat. We're gonna take off this. We're gonna come in here. I'm just gonna put in this to make it easier. Now here's all the ones that I did. Here's the ones that we just did. Look at this one. Ah, oh. oh, serving, serving everything. Look at that. Actually, I think I might love that. I think, I think this is where we're staying. Yes. Yes, this is the look. We're keeping this here. Okay, so here's that. Giving me everything I needed in life. Okay, boom. Let's go here. All right, this one. We're gonna rock, um, which one? I think this one. I think this is the look. I think this is everything, yes. I love it. I'm into it, okay. Oh, we have another one, we have another look. Look at this. Here we go, let's see. So for her, how about we give her, what do we think about this? No, there's too much red there. How about this one? There we go, that's the look. That's the look, I'm into it. Giving me everything. All right, here we are. We've got boy look, up, sleep look. Okay, here we are. Oh, look at this one. Okay, we're ready for a party. I'm thinking, I'm thinking red again. I mean, look at this. Oh man, who's this? Jessica Rabbit? Is that who that is? Uh, what's her name with the red hair? Oh man, I don't remember. Lola Bunny? No, I don't know. Who am I thinking of? Somebody, let me know in the comments. Who is this giving? Who is she serving right now? Some um. Warner Brothers character. Let me know. Let me know down below. All right, let's continue. We've got our swim look. Also, does anybody like? Oh, this is one of the looks. But does anybody like see what I've done with the eyebrows here? Like, come on now. Giving me everything. I've also uh, broken those up. Um, we'll go into a look there in a second. All right, let's do this girl here. What is she serving? I think she's serving here. The turquoise one. Look at that. That's everything. This is a look. I don't care what anybody says. This is a look. This is a summertime look. We're um, at a barbecue serving shows, like at the cookout. Like, come on now. What's up? Okay. So that's all of them. But yeah, like, that's the idea. Like, you can come in and, like, switch into anything you want. You know, if you, you want to take a break in between your show, you want to pull your wig off and let your head breathe, like, you can. Like, it's so much fun. Like, or if you just want to have a different look for every day of the week, you want to come out with one of these little... Here, now you can. You can. You can have every outfit have it sport a different look. Be whoever you want to be any day of the week. We're going to leave her like this, though, okay? Um, But you know what? When I, when I came in, when I was making these, I came across this one here. And this one is giving me my Britney Spears fantasy. Like, I think like, you know, with the high school pack just coming out, I think let's go in and we'll set a whole one up. We'll make, um, we'll do a Britney Spears, uh, get up. So let's, uh, let's, uh, strip him down. Oh, we just took his eyebrows off. <laughs> let's strip him down. And let's let's see what we could let's see what we can make happen um for this look. All right, here we go. Let's start with let's start with the look. How about we go into let's look down here. Let's come into this. Let's take off all of this. And also let's go into packs because we want to work in the high school pack, right? So here we go. High school years. What do we got? We got a little skirt. What kind? Of, oh, look, here we go. Schoolgirl skirt. This is what we're giving. And this is the color. This is the color we want. Any other one? No, that's plain. This one? No, that's the one we want. All right. Yeah. That's giving everything. Let's see. And we need a, a little uh, a hit me baby one more time T. What's that? Can we type that in? Hit me baby one more time T. No? School shirt? 
Hit me, baby, one time. School shirt. What's the closest we got for that? What are we looking like here? Something like this? No. No. Oh, look. Look at this. But not that color. Um, Any darker ones in this pattern? No. They, they fucked us. They fucked us. They did. They didn't put a matching one. Something that looks similar to this. Jesus Christ. Of course they didn't. Okay. So this is what we're going with. All right, so let's see. Let's we're, we're working on our Britney look. We're, he's looking crazy right now, but we gotta get that face done. Don't worry, so we're gonna get that face beat. All right, let's put on some wedges. I think we need a wedge. No. Look, here we go. Look at this. Okay, that's giving me everything right there. Like, oh baby, baby. All right, we're gonna go into here. We're gonna do some. Oh look, here we go. Is this it? Is this the look, or we want something? Hmm. Hmm. Like that. All right. Well, how about how about um uh what do you think about that? Okay, a little of that. It's starting. It's starting to look like Britney Spears. It's getting there. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, we need a French tip, right? Is this the kind of is this the nail she sported in the video? Somebody let me know. The what kind of nail does Britney Spears wear in this video? I feel like it's a French tip. It's not black though. Um, but you know what? I think we gotta rock something like this. I think this is a nice. Yeah, all these other colors, like it's too bright. I think this one's a nice look for this. For this look, yeah, that's beautiful. I love it. All right, let's get up on that face. How about that? Okay, what do we start with? Let's start with um, eyebrows because all right. So I have my eyebrows actually broken apart, and we have them in in um eyebrow rings so i also have them doubled also my boy brow and girl brows are mixed together so yeah we're gonna just kind of just let's see let's pull a style forward first let's see what kind of what kind of brow do we want to do what do you think a little blue a little blue hmm hmm how about uh, another one so i also have them double layered like this that way i can break up into different patterns all right let's start with something like this for now um let's work through the rest of the makeup This is um this is cute. Let's let's put the hair on to complete the package. Oh, okay, come on now. Like she's giving me everything. Um, okay. We let's let's hook up them brows a little bit better. How about we do something a little bit thicker? Yeah, it's softer. I like it. We're gonna go with this. Here we go. Baby, one more time. So we went from from, from him to her and snap of her fingers. Also, if somebody knows how to make like uh, hip pads and breastplate, like let me know because I would love to attach like some hip pads and some breastplate underneath this outfit that would um, add some shape to my queens. Uh, they deserve it. They need to not always have such this manly figure. You know what I mean? Like, let's give the girls some love. But yeah, so yeah, this is what I've done. And this is what you can now do too. So enjoy having a bunch of different wigs and all your different looks and putting on all your shows. And living your best drag fantasy.